All right, y'all. So this is a story time about how I found out that me and my sister got pregnant by the same guy. So me and my sister didn't grow up together. Like she's my sister on my dad's side. We kind of like met when we was adults. I was born in 99. I was born in March. She was born in November of 99. So I was like, damn, well, you know, or whatever. <clears throat> and her relationship with, with my dad was not strong. And my relationship with my dad, I mean, well, with our dad wasn't strong at the time either. This comment right here, this is my sister. This is my little sister. Like, this is the youngest. Well, we had another sister, but that's another story. Um, She actually died. But this is my little sister. Like, this is the youngest sister I got. So, y'all, so I hear her up. I asked her, like, how do you know him? So, his name is Pedro, right? He's a tattoo artist. So, he did this tattoo. And I'm going to give y'all a little backstory of how I actually started talking to him. So, I hit her up. I asked her how she knew him. And she was like, he do tattoos. Why? So, I was like, oh, okay. I, just, I left it at that. And then she was like, oh, I caught him with him, whatever. Right? And I hit him up. So, I was like, hey, I'm trying to get Teddy. Ooh. So, he's like, all right, pull up. So, when I went to get tattoos, like, I can say, this is the tattoo I got. I got this, y'all. So I got that tattoo. So I went, when I got a tattoo, it was all chill, like vibe, whatever, whatever. So he was like, you got a work and I was like, yeah, you know, whatever. So I could feel him when he was a tattoo, like, he was like this, like, and just tatting, like, you know, grabbing and stuff. So, I was just, like, in nothing but my panties. Like, I promise y'all, I was in nothing but my panties. So, after, we had, so we took a break. We had walked to get something for the stove. He ended up kissing me while I was at the stove. And I was young, y'all. So, I was, like, 18 to be 19. So, I was young. So, I wouldn't, so I thought it was just cool, like, cool, whatever. And he's missing, by the way. So, we watched the story, then we walked back to the tattoo shop. Um, the store was, like, just, like, two shops down, so... Don't say why I'm lose So we messed his tattoo shop. He ended up finishing my tattoo, y'all. And when he finished my tattoo, he gave me head. Y'all know, he gave me head. So we was just texting and talking for a couple of days. I still had a boyfriend. So the next day, I hit him up and I was like, I want to get a bad tattoo with my boyfriend. He was like, well, okay. So I ended up going to his house. We ended up fucking y'all. And then I was going to the tattoo shop to get the ta matching tattoo with my boyfriend. So now I'm going to do part three. Y'all, hold on. I'm going to do part three kind of, you know, kind of fast or whatever. So. Yeah, fellas. I told y'all, those bull rings, those nose rings, trauma come with it. That's how that goes. It's not so separate. You got to get them both at the same time. What do we know so far? She has daddy issues. She was raised by a single mother. She has a ton of tattoos. She lost a sibling. Her baby daddy got her sister pregnant at the same time as her. I don't know about y'all, but that sounds like some traumatic experiences to me, right? Am I tripping? 99% of women with these nose rings got so much emotional baggage that it almost makes no sense to even seriously date them bro i'm telling y'all what i know bro y'all don't know how much of this story i had to cut out just for it to be palatable for most of us her life is an accumulation of basically poor life decision after poor life decision oops looks like you around and found out and now you're dealing with the consequences of your actions Hell yeah, man. I got cousins that fell for that, man. How you the 10th baby mama? Come on, man. You should have known damn well he wasn't going to stick around. He ain't do it for the other nine. What make you so special? You're not special. I'm sorry. You're just as basic. He can go find 10 more like you tomorrow. I hate that for them, bro. Go to lunch and enjoy some I don't tell all the girls like And they should be upset with you because you made a whole bunch of horrible life decisions. And I promise you, if I was a gambling man, I would assume you got more than one baby daddy because I find it hard to believe that one man put all them babies in you. You get what I'm saying? And number two is this. You just ruined your chances of ever getting any real stand up type of dude because guess what with the way that my life is going i would never even look at a woman like that and most men feel the same way especially when they doing the things and they're taking the necessary steps to become somebody they're not looking for women like that that's the low vibrational men that's gonna have to settle for women with eight kids the men who are out here getting to it and getting this paper and becoming leaders in their perspective fields is never gonna date nothing like that i'm sorry i don't want to be the bearer of bad news but man some of these women need to hear the truth your family is right you your life up it is what it is okay so we all know that men are like the most cringiest people on the planet right no shock factor no surprise but my least favorite type of man my least favorite type of person but specifically when men do it are the people who say things because they want you to ask questions right and i'm not the type to ask questions like i'm about to skip over whatever you just said and continue on with the conversation 
I was talking to this guy the other day and you know I'm a waxer so we was talking about waxing and stuff like that and I'm just like yeah you know I wax men women whatever but I specialize in Brazilian waxes and he was like um waxing probably hurts so much I'd rather get shot again than get a wax yeah yeah you know waxing does hurt but it's not that bad like I'm skipping right over that I'm not asking you about the time you got shot I don't care like are y'all crazy why would you try to throw that in casual conversation so I'm going to treat it like it's casual. Even if it was a significant event, I'm going to treat it like it's casual because you just tried to razzle dazzle and sprinkle it on there like some seasoning. No, I don't. Now, look, I don't know if this was a real life example that she's talking about, but to me, it sounds like a woman who got a lack of accountability because why is you dating men that got shot before? And guess what? We all know he ain't get shot in the line of duty for working for the police department or in the U.S. Army or he was a Marine. We know you dealing with street niggas, man. Let's be real. He got shot and you dealing with those type of dudes. So guess what? Get what you get. It is what it is, man. Of course. But he a lame street dude because why are you bringing up the fact that he got shot? Like, I don't know no dudes that's going to bring up that. And I know some street dudes, and It's impossible not to know street dudes when you live in New Orleans. So with that being said, that's your fault, man. You pick lames. That's all it is. Niggas really don't be caring, though. They really don't. You can be... They over there like, trying to suck my dick. You know what's crazy, bro? It's sad, actually. She right. But my question is, did you still suck it? <clears throat> it is what it is. I bet you did. You know what's sad? A lot of y'all dudes would have followed her right into the ocean acting like a mermaid. I promise you. I know you niggas. Y'all be asking me, man, what's our at do? <laughs> Please, y'all, stop trying to change grown men. Just go get another one. Just go get another one. Get another one that is the type that you need him to be. That's it. You never see a man sitting there trying to change a woman. He just go get another one. Hey, I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. I might lose some subscribers on this one, but this lady is literally starting to grow on me because, bro, she really do make a lot of great points, man. Us men, we ain't trying to change no woman. We replace them. What Jay-Z said, I don't chase them. I replace them. Yeah, she 100% right about that. But one thing I will say is this. Uh, guess what, ladies? It's not as easy uh, to go and do what she's telling you to do. A lot of men who already got it ain't checking for your type of woman. It is what it is, man. These guys are on the top of the mountain. They could do so much better than you. You better off getting a man while he in the building stage. That's what you need to go and do. Find a man that ain't, ain't got it already. Because the man that got it already, baby, I promise you, you, ain't, you do not qualify for that man. That's the only thing that I don't like about this message. You can't just leave what you got and expect to go find you a millionaire. It don't work like that, bro. These dudes put in decades of hard work and they want a type of woman that you just don't live up to be fellas i'm gonna prove to you why this lady is growing on me because she does make a lot of points that actually could help a woman out bro i'm not gonna lie this one here that i'm about to show you is spot on it would work on me i ain't gonna lie to you if you want a successful relationship get out of emotion don't always want to talk with your man, oh, we need to talk about our feelings. How do you feel about me? Well, if he's still there, he, he like you. If he gone, he don't. All right, fellas, check this out. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that continuously watch my videos. Shows me that I'm doing something right. Look, we almost at 100K. I just need probably like five or 6,000 more. If everybody who watches this video hit the subscribe button, we'll get there probably in the next couple of days. So do your boy solid, man. You say you're a real one. You say you're real. We'll hit that button for your boy, man. I appreciate y'all. I ain't gonna stop the grind. Y'all know that. I cannot take that. I can't take no more. I can't take no more. Man, I'm sick of these hoes. I'm so sick of these hoes. I can't take no more. I can't be a hero. I can't, I can't say these hoes. Huh? Real player like these rose. This bitch crazy. Here we go. Blowing up my phone. Burned up all my clothes.